Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Patera with you today on this Tuesday afternoon. What a day. What a day. So this is not going to be a video where we do something, we, we seed save, we store something, we bake something, we clean stalls. You know, this is, it's just not going to be that type of video right now. This is just a me and you talking it out for a few minutes type of moment because I've had that type of day. So I'm going to safely assume a lot of you have probably had that type of day as well. I'm not going to go too much into the details of everything that happened yesterday with the uh, situation in Nashville. Um, you, it's all over the place. So you know, you know the thing. And really, frankly, I don't have the capacity to want to argue with people about it either because there's always going to be that. But the thing that I kept going back and forth with today in my mind, let me set this down, is number one, I was like, well, am I going to make a video? Because I got thrown off. I got totally derailed. <laughs> We're just derailed. We're constantly being derailed. I don't want to say I, I didn't get completely derailed today, but after watching the, uh, the body footage, the cam footage of the scenarios that uh, took place yesterday, the, the scenario, but there's several different videos of different, from different um, officers and the school and all of that, that I'm not, I'm going to be honest with you, it threw me for a loop for a couple of hours. You know, and this is the thing. This is why I, I said, okay, I'm just not going to make a video. And even James was like, just, just don't. Just take a break today. Everybody probably needs a mental break anyway. I'm like, well, they're not getting one. So let's just talk it out, right? So regardless of how you feel about the aspects of different things that we could talk about with this, here's the bottom line. In the last, what, week? Six, seven days or so I have made, or 10 days, I don't know. Uh, I've made two different videos talking about how you and I and us and we and all the people around us, um, the mental situation with people going on. Um, you know, and everybody wants to argue that things were this bad 30 years ago. Um, I, no, I, I'm going to tell you right now, when I was a kid, I never felt these types of pressures um, that we are seeing right now. It's not, it's not that things didn't happen and life was perfect. No, 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 no. Um, but I, I, it's just like... We are on a free for all. We are on a free for all, free fall. And um, I know that you're feeling this too. So I think the important thing here is to point out the conversation that we've had here together on this channel over, over the last couple of days. And I'm hoping that you have thought about this because, folks, it just like everything is building upon itself. And so therefore, because of that, because of things going on with the economy, look what we've been through over the last three years. Um, the, all the issues with politics, um, we could just, all, everything, 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 food shortages. Now we have inflation. Now we have banking crisis, crises, whatever. Um, so all of this, all this is just building myself, just sh 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 build it up, build it up. So, you know, somebody could say, well, these are, you know, these types of scenarios that were in Nashville yesterday, they've happened before. Well, there comes a point where you're at the tipping point. And at this, in, right now, I think all of us could probably agree on one thing is we are pretty much doggone there. This is why I'm saying you have to self-check yourself in terms of how you are handling stress. This is why I am pushing people to stress test yourself. Um, I actually posted the, uh, the, the one of the two videos on my Facebook page today. I, I went ahead and removed it because seeing it over and over for me, it's like I, get, I, I know, I'm like, okay. I already went through my emotional ringer today with this because here's the thing. We can tell ourselves that we're prepared. We can tell ourselves all day long that we know how to handle situations. We can go and train till the cows come home. The bottom line is, is until you're in that moment, you just never know how you're going to respond fully. The more that we prepare for things, all kinds of things, the more that we psychologically and try to emotionally prepare for things the you know the we're going to handle it better 
Um, but just what an incredible time to, that we are living right now and to see the things that are happening to young people. Folks, the bottom line is, this isn't uh, a debate about a lot of surface issues that we could certainly debate. This is, this is what this is, which is not debatable, is a battle between good and evil. And we have talked about this for many, many months. And evil preys on the weak, spiritually weak. And I think a lot of our young people are absolutely being engulfed right now. That's my personal opinion. It upset me so that I have made sure again that I am talking to my young men. I have three boys, uh, late teens, early 20s. And I have to know that I am doing my best to, to, to pray through, talk through, guide my own self through my own emotions. But it's not just that, your kids young people are seeing all of this stuff too. And even if they blow it off or they just talk about it briefly or whatever, folks, that, that's still there. And that's still a permanent impression on them. And it is important that you, like I did today, and I, you know, you have to go through the emotions of understanding what's going on to us as a people. And when you do that, you're going to be, in a sense, checking your own self and how are you processing everything that's going on it's tough it's pulling a complete toll on your mind your spirit your heart your body physically and so it's important to go through the process of understanding these things if you have to cry it out if you need to pray it out if you have to walk it out then do it and then you have to regroup I had to regroup this afternoon. I admit that to you. I have no shame in the game here. As a mother, as a as a you know wife, as a Christian, as a Tennessean, uh, I have to say these again. Here's another example of these are the days of our lives. I also want to so I I totally encourage you to be really thinking about things. Don't stick your head in the sand. Um, even if it causes you, like I got really upset with myself because I was like, I've allowed this to ruin half of my day. And now that I've come out to the other side and here we are, it actually hasn't ruined my day. I was meant to go through this process for a reason. I actually watched the footage of those officers multiple times because I wanted to understand and feel the intensity of their stress in that moment. And man, were they, they, <laughs> you talk about keeping it frosty. They handled it that, 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 by what I've seen, uh, unbelievable. What just unbelievable, keep it together training that these young, to me, they're young men, the two particular ones, uh, you know, what an outstanding job. But it took me through an emotional process with that. So we pray for Nashville. We're praying for these families. Um, you know, um, I, I, I can't even imagine uh, anybody involved in this scenario at all. Um, what an ordeal. And unfortunately, one way or another, because of all of the demonic things that we are seeing in our society um, and the push for people to be combative and people pushing to constantly be trying to trigger and engage people. Um, folks, this, this is just not a good scenario for any of us. So I'm encouraging you to self-check yourself and your, the ones close to you. Don't take people for their word. I hate to say that, but when people just say, oh, I'm okay really try to talk things out with people as best you can. Um, because I think a lot of people are in denial in terms of the amount of stress that our society is under. And this is what I'm saying. So imagine all this stress, imagine all this anxiety that's happening right now and something much larger happens overnight. How are people going to respond? I'm going to tell you right now, it's not going to be pretty. I don't say that to scare you. I say this because you need to be thinking about it. 
I need to be thinking about it. You've got to be mentally and spiritually training and preparing for that. I have to do more. I have to do more. I think my anxiety is a lot to do with the fact that I believe, just like many of you, of so many horrible things that could be coming our way and that puts pressure on us to prepare. But we have to, you know, preparing our homes, preparing our minds, preparing our skills. You can't just stop, right? We can't just freeze. This is why we have to go through these processes of getting it out, understanding. And by all means, I'm going to say this again. I am absolutely encouraging every single one of you to be professionally trained, okay? And understand how you need to defend your home, yourself, especially when you are in public, if you, uh, especially if you go to church, if you just wherever, wherever and whatever, okay? I'm saying to be peaceful. I'm saying to be mindful. I'm saying to be prepared and trained, but I am saying you need to be doing it. It's beyond, it's beyond time. So I hope you're doing well. We will get back to the regularly scheduled program tomorrow. Um, I'll be honest with you. I was going to cook and make a video tonight. I had all these plans lined up for today, and that's just not what God wanted us to do tonight. So you know what we're going to do? I'm going to go get a hamburger, and I'm going to relax tonight and call it a night and enjoy time with my family and make sure that I'm talking again with my kids and make sure you make sure your children I don't care I don't care if they are 28 years old call them please please and talk these things out our young people and I, I don't mean this in a bad way I mean if you're 28 years old I mean I would have been super young for me to be your mama but I feel like I'm your mama and I mean this in a loving way please talk to these people pray for them Remind them that God loves them, okay? And remind them that they have a special place on this planet and remind them that these pulls to pull them in into these deep, dark, demonic places are fooling them and that we as a society need good, strong, smart young people. I really don't know what else to say. There's a lot of ways I could go with this whole thing yesterday, but I'm heartbroken about it and I, I, I needed to go through it as far as the emotion of it. And uh, I just wanna say again, thank you so much to the officers in, in Nashville for responding um, that, like they did. Um, they were incredible and uh, by everything that I've seen. so. Pray for our police officers and first responders, folks. Regardless of how you feel about the social and political situations and things aren't perfect, okay? When times get rough, who you gonna call? It ain't gonna be Ghostbusters. It would be them. And if they don't show up or if they can't show up, guess what? You, me, we're on our own. So make sure you're prepared for that. I love you guys. I hope you're doing well today. And uh, we're just going to keep pushing forward, okay? Check yourself. Figure out what you need to be doing to re-get, you know, put yourself back in the mode of, okay, I got it. And we're going to press forward. And we're going to stand together. And we're going to pray. And we're going to be peaceful. And we're going to recognize what's going on. Because you're getting pushed every single day. Like, subscribe, and share. Can't thank you enough for being here. Hang in there, guys, and we'll see you on the next video.